your fucking rifle for functioning, no matter how expensive or inexpensive it is. Like I say, of course there's gonna be some shitty, shitty quality rifles, but you basically know what you're getting. You you know you gotta get a fucking forged forged aluminum um, receiver and you know a, a nice upper um, when you get it or whatever and some decent parts, man. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the only thing you gotta do is clean it right. And cleaning this gun is so fun to me. I don't know about anybody else. I don't know if they don't like cleaning. They don't know how to clean. I don't know what it is. But I know for me, cleaning is so fun with this rifle. I like doing it. I just pretty much like doing it. I feel like I'm doing something constructive with my life. I feel like fucking uh, like a little kid putting his fucking toys together or whatever. So, you know, like, but yeah, when my shit is, like I clean it, it, it works perfectly. Worst purpose, you know, my AK, you know, you don't have to clean that. I'm not gonna clean that for like a year. You know, it's, it's been shooting, like, come on, man. You know, AK. And with the drum, I had a 75 round drum. I tried it. Um, that shit was working great. Um, the GSG, like I say, every now and then with the GSG, it'll pick up. It either is on the failure feed, failure to eject, or whatever. So, like I say, with the GSG, it's a good rifle as far if you want to. Plank, if you want to target shoot, if you want to save money, GSG is the way to go. Another tip I wanted to give you guys. Please, 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 if you're going to get an AK, consider the 74. If this is going to be your first AK ever, consider the 74. I wish I would have had the 74 when, um, when I first got an AK, man. I'm telling you this right now. The 74... The rounds are expensive. I mean, less expensive. All right, let me put in and, and let me put in perspective for you. For the two two three, the cheapest I get an XM one ninety three, Federal Lake City ammo, um, is for one thirty one hundred thirty one dollars for four hundred rounds. All right? Okay. That's, you know that's a decent price for you know two two three. That's actually more decent than these fucking gun stores and all that shit, man. Like, that's really decent. Um, AK-74. For 1,080 rounds, you pay 179 shipped to your door straight from Atlantic Firearms. 179. You're going to be paying 200 and something dollars for 800 rounds of 223. Like I said, what they cost like 130, so it's gonna cost like 260 for 800 rounds. But for 1,080 rounds with the fucking 74, you're paying 179 shipped to your door. Free shipping, no tax. Well, at least I don't think they tax. If they tax, it's still gonna be cheaper than all these other rounds. The the 7.62 was around the same area was as the AR, so I mean it was a little cheaper, but at the end of the day, the fucking 74 beats it. That's the first thing. Number two, the 74 is more accurate than the AK-47. I heard that it's almost you know it's almost um neck is like neck and neck with this, you know almost as accurate as this. Um, stopping power way better than this man. I seen on one of TMH on fire videos, one of his old videos when he had the 5.45. Like it went through and then the back of the wood, it went through the wood and in the back of the wood it was all fucked up, man. It was like really fucked up. So I was like, damn, that's devastating. So, you know, I think it's more potent, potent than, uh, and I know the round is longer, way longer than the 223. Um, so that's another thing. Mm, what else, what else, what else? Oh, an actual rifle itself, it doesn't cost as much. I mean, if you get an arsenal, that's going to be pricey. It's around $800. But if you, I heard Lancaster is selling for, for um, some 74s. Lancaster is going for like 600 The Tantals are going for like around the same area. What else? The Tantals, the Lancasters. The Arsenals, and I don't really know about anyone else, but those are three main ones I was considering. The Arsenal, if I had the money, well, I think I'm gonna get an Arsenal when um when I get a 74. When I get a 74, um, fucking the what else? 
the fucking Lancaster. I heard like my boy AK A A Corpse ninety one on his channel. Um, he had a Lancaster and he's been having problems. So I don't know. I'm kind of some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. Kind of on the fence with that. The tattoos, I heard great things about it, nothing but good things. Don't like the finish. Don't like the stock. So. I mean, if I could get a refinish and then do a stock, but it makes more sense to just get an arsenal right out of the box with everything I want. With the nice furniture, all black furniture, and the fucking um, nice gun coat. I think they use gun coat. On that nice black fucking um, paint on it or whatever they use. And, you know, durability, man. So, I mean, I think the 74 is like the best of both worlds. It has, it has the accuracy, it has the stopping power. It has the, um, financially, it's the, it's the um, best way to go. And, you know, I'm just recommending that. Also, you know, I mean, I just told you guys the breakdown on my AK. What's been going on with that? Um, my GSG, what's been going on with that? The AR, and, you know, a couple of shout outs. Um, And the next video, I'm just going to basically, I like, I'll probably do, I mean, you guys request things, like, I mean, if you request things, I have more ideas on what to do, like, you know, um, I could break down the AR if you want me to, the GSG, I could break down, um, I don't know, man, you guys come up with something, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, I think that's it. So, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Be easy and stay safe.